Hi, this is Ryan with Front End Audio, and thank you for checking out our featured software series. All right, so today let's take a look at Slate Digital's FGX Mastering Software plugin in action. I've got my mix of echolocation, the song we've been using in our videos, and I've got uh, some settings that I've messed around with here. Possibly a little extreme, but you know, just kind of want to show the overall uh, plugin in action. I'll uh, show some of the settings that I've done here, and then you know, maybe we'll go through some of the presets. So here is the song without the FGX plugin, and then I'll cut it on and. Um, let you hear the difference. I also have the constant gain monitoring on, so there won't be any level perception difference, but you should hear a difference, and then I'll cut that off so that you can hear the level increase. So here is the plug-in, or here's the uh, mix without FGX engaged. So what I did there was I did a slow attack, slow release at about a 4 to 1 ratio um, at about negative 10 on the threshold so that I could really actually just bring up the bass guitar, the vocals, and the uh, organ, all the constants in it. And then I brought up a little bit of the low punch so that I can bring out a little more body in the bass and the kick drum to give a better foundation. Uh, upped the detail, did a couple dB of gain. Uh, around 5 dB of gain, and then uh, adjusted the dynamic perception uh, to get that front to back imaging to kind of inflate so there's a little more dimension to the overall mix. And then I brought up the uh, intelligent transient processing so that the kick and snare had a little more, uh, and then as well as the hi -ha the hi-hats and the shaker and tambourine had a little more cut in the mix. And you could hear the difference that it was making without hearing the level difference. So it's a really cool feature of that constant gain monitoring. So let's look at it without constant gain monitoring so we can hear how the actual plugin is affecting it overall as well as with the gain boost. Here's the mix without the plugin and then I'll engage it. So you can really tell that uh, it did give some great dimension to the overall mix and it brought up the level, you know, and made the mix just sound better, but I didn't have to crush it and get, you know, into the whole leveling wars thing and ruin the mix. I was able to keep the dynamics, I was able to keep the dimension and let the song just exist the way that I think it should, you know. Uh, that's just my personal uh, taste as far as... Uh, as far as mastering here, so let's uh, actually just kind of skip through a few of these uh, few of these presets real quick, and here are the differences that they offer. First, we're going to go to Club.
So there's uh, already a lot of really good presets in it that you can start with and then adjust from there to, uh, you know, get to learn the software and how you might want to approach uh, your mixes. I actually kind of like the way that the metal preset sounded on that. So, you know, even though it's not a metal song. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, very cool plug-in. Like I said, it's, it's become uh, very invaluable in my home studio. I use it on virtually everything nowadays and uh, whether it's going to be a uh, mp3 upload to uh, f you know uh, itunes or you know one of uh, my digital download sites or whether it's going to be to a cd or dvd audio disc um you know it just it has that way of getting the mixes just to sound better without killing the character you work so hard in the mix to get so great plug-in and i hope this has given you a great uh uh you know, look at what to expect of, you know, how you can use it in your studio and what you can expect it to, uh, to function like and how it would perform for you. So, hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you for joining us for our featured software series videos. For more information and for all your pro audio needs, check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.